it just vanished. In Naples, there's a network called the Tunnel Borbonico. For 300 years, it was sealed, completely sealed. No one went in, no one came out. Then, in the 1980s, during renovation work on a building above ground, construction workers broke through a wall and found themselves staring into a vast underground chamber. Inside, they found something impossible. World War II artifacts, medical supplies, blankets, candles. Evidence that during the Allied bombing of Naples, thousands of people had sheltered down there, had somehow found this ancient Roman tunnel system and used it as a bomb shelter. But here's the thing. After the war ended, the tunnels were sealed again. And once again, forgotten. The people who sheltered there, who survived the bombs in those ancient Roman chambers, they're still alive. Some of them. I spoke to one of them, an old man named Giuseppe who was seven years old when his family fled underground during an air raid. It was like entering another world, he tells me, his hands trembling slightly as he remembers. Stone arches disappearing into darkness, the sound of water dripping somewhere far away. My mother said it was older than the church, older than anything. We stayed there for three days, and when we came out, when the bombing stopped, they sealed it again, and I never went back. He pauses, looking at me with eyes that have seen too much. But sometimes, he says quietly, I still dream about it, about that darkness, that feeling of being held by something ancient, something that had protected people for thousands of years.